All right, first up, all the way from Southern California, our very own LaDawn Skeeters. Whoa! And we are learning about words, the importance of words, and the uh, weight that words carry. We're learning how to get our power back. And so we're going to open up and find out a little bit more about words. We're going to talk about presuppositions. What the heart embraces as truth, the mind will support it. So what that's saying is whatever you embrace as your truth, you will support it. Because we know faith without works is dead. So that means whatever is your truth, is what you're walking out. So if you tell me you believe if the word of God is your truth, then I should see that as what you're walking out. I should see that. You shouldn't have to tell it. I should see it. So if I see that you're not walking out on God's word or where God has deposited into you that vision that you tell me, then I know what your truth is. Page now, 35. Presuppositions, that's when you have a word. You get a word, and that opens up a perception. Remember earlier we learned that if I spoke the word table, you didn't see T-A-B-L-E. You actually saw a picture of a table, and it opened up, and maybe you saw a gold table. Maybe you saw food on your table. Maybe you saw plates. Some people like to set their tables and just have it set in there looking pretty. Maybe that's what you saw, but it, it opened up a perception for you. So if somebody says the word pretty or the, the word ugly, all of a sudden all these different ideas and thoughts start going off inside of you and bringing um, perception to you, understanding. So what we're learning is that it, when you get that perception, that thinking, most of the time what we'll do is we'll get a feeling about what we just heard, what that picture brings to us. So if you hear the word dad, Dad, some of you, when you hear the word dad, you have a joy that brings up, that sparks up in your heart. Yeah. Some of you, when you hear the word dad, you, you start feeling upset, hurt, broken down, unforgiveness, just out of the word dad. Yeah. Just out of the word dad. So then when you have that feeling, you take an action or an attitude. So if you, I said the word dad and you start feeling upset and, and um, just, you know, you said, okay, when I hear the word dad, I, 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 I'm, I'm remembering the abuse. I'm remembering these, these things that didn't make me feel good. And now you have an action or an attitude that you might take towards that. So some of you, if you feel bad about your dad, you don't call him. You don't have a relationship with him. Or if he comes around you, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you get an attitude. He just called you to say hi. Hi. What you call me for? I got to go. I, I, I'm busy. I'm at work. I don't have time for you. And so what happens is that turns into your potential or your belief. Your dad may have abused you 20 years ago. And today he's trying to say sorry. Today he's trying to be the dad that you thought he should have been back then, but you're still living off of that word that you had back then, and that's your potential and your belief about your dad. He no good. Every time he come around, all he want to do is hurt me. I, I can't open up. I can't let his words make me think or feel or act. My potential, my belief about my dad is shut him down. Shut them down. So what we're learning is, is that we have to change the words that are inside of us. If we know that we're not doing the things that God has called to do, called us to do, one thing that we have to turn back to are the words. We know that we're made up of words. We know that we hear over 20 negative words to one positive word. So what are the words that you're allowing to give life, to spring life and cause you to act? If you're not doing what God has called you to do and you have all this upset emotions and different things like that, it's because of the word that you have inside of you. So we want to change that. And so now we're going to see how. How do we change that? How do we, I start changing what I think about people, my dad, or changing the words that have been deposited inside of me? How do I change that? 
of course, we want to go back to the word, first and foremost. So if you have all these negative words inside of you, you are hearing, maybe you're, you, you heard that you're a prophetess. And maybe you were in the room earlier and you heard when Coach said, God said, I'm, somebody's waiting to speak a word. Somebody's supposed to speak a word. Somebody's supposed to be speaking right now. And they're like, okay, is that me? They were waiting to feel if they were the one that God said to speak. Lord, if I feel like you told me to do it, I'll do it. Right. Come on. And, and, and they still, they had that feeling, but they still were waiting. So we learn that God is a God of now, zero to five seconds, zero to five seconds. So when God speaks and he says, speak a word, we're not supposed to break it through our feelings. When he says, speak a word, we're supposed to move. We're supposed to take that action and that attitude first. Mm. And when we take that action and that attitude and move out on what God tells us to, tells us to do, then we'll have a feeling about it. So when God said, speak, we spoke. And maybe we spoke life into somebody that was hate, waiting to hear that word that you had bottled up. That authority that God had given you to speak life into a death, a death situation. And that would have, when you did that, now you can now rejoice on, gosh, I'm hearing, from, I'm hearing from God. I can trust in what he's called me to do and move out on the things that he's called me to do. I can now start moving when I feel like I don't... You know, I, I, I don't really have the faith, or I, I, I can't, I don't really understand, I don't really know. And that will then lead to your potential and your belief, because you remember when God said, okay, move, I didn't wait to break it through my feelings, I moved out because God said to move. Yes, right. And so when I, when I moved out, when God said to move, I learned that I could trust yes. when God told me to move out. Yes. And that now became my potential, my belief is that God's word is stronger than any word that I could hear. Yes. But you have to get that word inside of you and allow that to be your truth. And the only way that you allow that to be your truth is by going back to the word daily. If you're not in your word daily and you're hearing negative words all day long, how do you think God's word is going to come about you? Right. When you were at the Bible last week. Mm. Right. But between last week and today, you heard that you were unworthy. Right. Mm. You heard that you were too ugly, too big, too small, too light, too dark. Not smart enough. You didn't make enough money, but you still trying to live off of the word that you read last week. Mm. So what, remember, whatever the heart embraces as truth, the mind will support it. So get God's word inside of you. So that can start being your truth. Woo! 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 Don't go to the line. Woo! Well, I just wanted to just just really uh, share with you from another point of view. Coach Ladon did such a great job. She began to talk about words, and words now are not just words, they convert. Remember the word converting we've been talking about? Words becoming pictures that now begin to shape your attitudes, your, your actions and attitudes. It's been stated that it's easier to act your way into a feeling than to feel your way into yes, an action. Yes, sir. That's right. And so many of us are waiting to feel... And God is saying, I want you to know me so that when I speak, you act and the feelings will come. Yeah. Let me begin to get the idea. Yeah. So this journey, this journey of understanding the movement of words is all about right here, this area of your belief, your potential. It's been stated that a man earns a living and behaves in a manner consistent with his or her inner self-concept. And how does this inner self-concept get developed? By words that now become actions and feelings and now you can reprogram your, your inner self-beliefs and potentials that now you will draw to you new world opportunities. You begin to draw into new conditions and, and behaviors that will come your way. Birds of a feather? We'll do what? You begin to draw onto you conditions of your heart. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So is he. Great job, great job. Next. Woo!